Now that the clouds have completely moved out of the region, we are looking at clear and cool conditions for tonight. Another night with temperatures likely getting down into the low 60s. So those very pleasant evenings and mornings look to continue heading into the weekend. But just like today, things will be warming up through the afternoon. Thanks to a good deal of sunshine as we should get back into the low to mid 80s the next couple afternoons. And then heading into next week, really not much change. We're still going to stay sunny and dry. So if you need the rain, you're going to have to be waiting quite a bit because it looks like a fairly dry pattern setting up here as we go into this first week of October. Live look over the capital city right now shows we got those clear skies. A beautiful evening for this Friday night. Temperatures have since come down though from the 85 that we got up to this afternoon. You can see with the clear skies, temperatures have slipped into the 60s. So we got 68 for Columbia, Winsboro, and Newberry, 64 for Sumter and Camden, 69 degrees in Orangeburg. So very comfortable out there already. And as I mentioned, we should make it all the way down into the low 60s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Even a few spots may be getting into the upper 50s. So very pleasant to get your Saturday started. Then through the day, more sunshine expected. Maybe just a few clouds as we get later on into the day with temperatures getting into the low to mid 80s for an afternoon high. If you're going to head up to Asheville to head up into the mountains or into the upstate, you can expect temperatures very similar, maybe a degree or two cooler. We're looking at 81 Saturday, 80 degrees on Sunday, but should be a nice weekend to put the hiking boots on and check out some of those leaves that are already starting to change a little bit. So our low pressure system that had kind of been draped over the top, giving us the clouds the last couple of days is pushing off to the east. High pressure building in from the north, and it's just going to be the dominant force over the next five to six days. So we're just going to continue to see the influence. And look at this. By Sunday and even into Monday, this high is keeping pretty much the eastern half of the country dry from Maine all the way through the Great Plains. You barely even see clouds. So a large portion of the country just going to be basking in the sunshine heading into the first part of next week. Even Tuesday and Wednesday, more of the same as this high pressure continues to be in control. And with it to our north, we're getting that northeasterly breeze. So temperatures going to be just about where they should be for this time of year. So it's not going to be unusually hot or unusually cool. It's going to be very comfortable just like it has been the past few days. I'm going to continue into much of next week. Thursday, some clouds start to build in, and then you can see this front off to our west. That's going to start to slide our way late Friday and into Saturday, and that finally brings us just the slimmest chance for a few showers pushing back into the region. Out in the Atlantic, we're still tracking Philippe and Rena out in the Atlantic. Both are tropical storms. Rena looks like it's going to fall apart sooner, but Fleep getting a little better organized, but still should stay out of the open waters and be just a storm for the fishes. So in the meantime, we just got beautiful weather. All that sunshine, at least through next Thursday. Temperatures, you can see anywhere from 81 to 84 degrees in the afternoon.